Alright, well today I'm going to show you how to break a split cylinder specimen. Need your 6x12 cylinder here, marker, calipers, and of course the testing equipment behind us. First thing you need to do is put a guideline on this. Just roll your cylinder up to something flat and straight. Draw a straight line down the axis, like so. We're then going to prop it upright and take two diameters along that axis. Six inches even, 5.99. You'll record those. You'll also need to record the height of the cylinder. It's probably better to do this by sitting it down. Take it over to the test equipment. You'll need a couple plywood shims. You'll need a couple more of these. This one's a little cracked, but it'll do for testing purposes. We'll get better ones in here. Find your guideline. Either have that sitting straight up or straight down. Your cylinder should be resting on the shim. On top of that, you'll need another shim, and again, that should be a full length shim. Oh, well, it's a two by four. I will cut more of those. Anyway, you also need this spreader beam. It sits on top of it. If you're lucky, it'll balance by itself. If you're not, you're going to have to hold it. Again, turn the machine on. Oops. Yeah, I'm going to have to hold that. Yeah, please do the thanks, Ben. Uh, 
there it goes. Split cylinder. <laughs> That's all there is to it.